Hey, it's me, and guess what? We're doing a very special episode today, live on location, from the beach. Can you even believe it? So, we're here in beautiful Santa Barbara, California, because I fixed this stand that held the green screen in the last episode, and now I'm enjoying some sea breeze. So check this out. Sometimes in life, you have a big fat piece of junk on one side and on the other side you have refurbished treasure. Now what stands in the middle? You and your tools and about a half an hour. Like take for example this piece of junk chair of mine, one foot in the grave. It's an embarrassment. The thing is tilting this is like the Titanic one hour in, right? Did you know there's a YouTube channel that does a CGI of the Titanic sinking in real time? There's, you can, if you have two hours and 40 minutes to blow. So I think if I remove both sides of the chair and make a template out of one and buy some one inch thick wood and curve it just so. Yeah, right, I'm not doing that. Sometimes you want things to function instead of maybe winning a craftsmanship award. Forget that craftsmanship award. Make it so it works and move on. Now if you'll notice, one leg is too short, right? No, three legs are too long. So you measure, put a line, tick marks all the way around the chair, chop it down, and then it's gonna sit level. Problem solved. Now you might be asking, well, now isn't this chair shorter than all the other chairs? And the answer is yes. And I'm not taking any follow-up questions. I had this broom that I liked very much. It was aluminum, it was red. All the cool things about a broom were in that broom. And I stepped on it by accident. And I thought, shoot, my favorite broom. And I thought, wait. Take that shoot back because you know what I thought of? I thought of a long stick with two screws. Now you might be saying, doesn't everybody ask, why didn't you just buy another broom, dude? And the answer is, yes, they do ask that. And I'm not taking any follow-up questions. I think it's funny how people ask questions that are meant as statements and then you answer them as questions and they're like, wait, no, you didn't get it. Oh, I got it. I just sidestepped it and it went just like Aunt Bunny falling down the steps. That's pretty good. This is going to burn something, dude. Now it's going to help the popcorn. You are an You know the hardest part about fixing something? is slowing down to fix it because an impatient person isn't going to fix Jack. You know who is? You and your box of tools in about a half an hour. <laughs> 